In other news tonight, dozens of condos are red tagged after a massive landslide in San Clemente threatens them and the historic city landmark Casa Romantica. Now, many of these condos are vacation rentals, but not all of them. And more than a dozen locals are out of their homes tonight. John Fanolio joining us live from San Clemente now with more on that. John. Kareen, Rick, good evening to you. That's right, the danger persists here along the cliffside below Casa Romantica. You can see the sign right there. It's closed due to the landslide on the ocean terrace right there. It's not only forced the closure of this historic building, but also several residential buildings and Metro and Amtrak rail service. Officials say it's too soon to know when they can get a handle on this landslide. From this angle at the entrance to Casa Romantica, everything appears normal. But as you move toward the oceanfront terrace, you can see the damage is severe. You come back here, you see the amount of earth that has moved down the hillside. Your heart just absolutely drops. Overnight, the earth below the historic cultural center continued to slide. If you look at the hillside here, it's jarring because it's moved about 40 feet. The slide happened Thursday, forcing the immediate closure of Casa Romantica, which had to be red tagged due to the danger of collapse. Four condo units in a nearby building were also red tagged, and four condo units in another nearby building were yellow tagged, meaning habitability is limited. The moving earth also stopped Metrolink and Amtrak rail service at the base of the slope. The mayor was joined by state and federal officials this morning to assess the damage. We're looking at a disaster here. Congressman Mike Levin says the economic impact of the landslide on the local economy could be devastating. So when the rail corridor is shut down, even for a week, a month, we're talking about tens or even hundreds of millions of dollars in regional economic impact. So I'm going to do everything I can to, to use whatever federal tools we've got in the toolkit to work with Supervisor Foley at the, the uh, county level, to work with our state legislators. Uh, in Sacramento and of course to work with Mayor Duncan and we're not going to stop until the job is done. Residents say they feel for their displaced neighbors and their cherished Casa Romantica. It's just so sad because they have ended up evacuating the people in the building across the street from us over here. It makes me feel so bad. I'm so sad. We love it here at Casa Romantica. We come all the time. We were just here for a field trip. All right, officials tell us they don't anticipate having to yellow tag or red tag any more homes. They think that the sliding for now is not threatening any more structures, but again, they are still assessing this cliff side. They do have geologists and engineers on site, but right now, no time frame for when it will be safe to open this building or the train tracks below. We'll have more coming up at six for now reporting live in San Clemente. I'm John Finolio, sending it back to you in Hollywood. Yeah, what a mess, sir. Yeah. John, John, thanks. Thank you.